What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys have a great day as always. If you guys haven't already subscribed, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We finally have a weekend where we're not going wheeling, so it's kind of a good time to catch up on all the Jeeps. I have some work to do to all of them, but to get started, we're going to go ahead and pull the black WJ in. If you guys remember, this is what happened last time we drove it. Yeah, that sounds terrible. It sounds like we're about to blow up or we're a train. And neither of those are good sounds for your Jeep to be making. So we're gonna put this thing in the driveway and call it a day on the Grand Cherokee. So it's been making this weird like uh, clunking sound in the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it in the garage. We'll get it jacked up on jack stands, see if it's the front axle or if it's the engine or what it could possibly be. I'm not really sure what went wrong because we didn't really make it very far. So I'm gonna go ahead, get that thing jump started get it pulled in the garage and we'll see what's up. All right, so it's been on charge for a little while now. Ignore my uh, fair lead uh, hood strut. We're gonna have to replace that as well, but it's on, been on charge for a little bit. So let's go ahead and see if it'll start. So it's on, it's not wanting to idle at all. It's also out of gas, like a hundred percent. So I'm kind of not thinking engine stuff just cause I feel like it would still be making a ton of sounds even when it's idling. I'm gonna let it warm up, see if we can get it to idle, and then we'll pull it in the garage and take a closer look. All right, so the black WJ is in the garage. Um, this one actually fits the best out of all the Jeeps, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm gonna go ahead and jack up the front end here and lift it up off the ground, and then we'll spin both wheels, um, see if we can hear anything. So when it was idling, it didn't sound like it was the engine because it wasn't making any weird noises then. So my next thought would be the front axle. It doesn't have a front drive shaft right now, so it's definitely not that. So the next step in diagnosing this is gonna be putting some jack stands under it, spinning the tires, and seeing if we can hear anything. All right, so I found the issue. Now, this is kind of stupid and 100% my fault, but you guys aren't gonna guess what this issue was, so let me just go ahead and show you. So I've been taking lug nuts and parts off of this Jeep for a while now, for the Wrangler and for the other Grand Cherokee. And I guess I loosened them and never put them back on tight. So we lost one on this wheel and watch this. So a slight overlook on my part, but it seems like we had one lug nut and that's what the sound was. So I am super thankful that this thing did not fall off when we were in the snow because that would have sucked a lot and uh, we would have just had to drag it home, honestly. I'm going to go ahead and pop this tire off and see if we screwed up the studs or what any further damages are. But I'm super pumped that this thing's not destroyed. Now, don't get me wrong. This does sort of still suck because stupid mistake and it was 100% my fault. But this is probably best case scenario because it didn't break. Um, we didn't really have any issues. It made it home. So it could be much, much worse. So I'm just thankful it's not the engine. So we still have the WJ to make content with and we can compare it to the blue WJ and all that stuff. This lug nut right here was the strongest one of them all. It held the tire on in the snow with just one lug nut. So that one did a good job. I think it's time to replace them all now though. So as you can see, this was quite the mistake and I snapped off two of the studs for that. So I'm gonna have to go pick up two of the, or honestly, I'd have replaced them all. Cause if you look at them, they're all chewed up. So we're gonna need five new studs for this. And I'm also gonna need a new wheel. So as you can see, I ovaled out all the holes basically here and basically destroyed the wheel. So we're going to, have to pick up a new wheel because that's not going to work very well. I might actually have some more of these wheels. They're just takeoff wheels off of Rubicon. So I'm going to go see if I have any more of them. So here's my stash of Grand Cherokee wheels. Unfortunately, none of those are the right one. This one is, but this one also got destroyed. As you can see, it's like a deep engraving across the inside. So I'm gonna have to order up another wheel. Honestly, I might just throw those wheels on, um, depending on how much these wheels are and run with those. Cause I don't mind those really. And it'd be a whole lot cheaper than buying another one of these. All right, update. I looked them up online and they're pretty expensive for some takeoff wheels from a Rubicon when they're not even that nice of a wheel to begin with for upgrading wheels. So I think we're going to ditch these wheels all together and go ahead and throw on the wheels that came on this Jeep. They're just like the five um, spoke wheels, basically kind of like the inside of those, but silver. And we're just going to put those back on here because they're no different than this, like capability wise. So we'll just run those because I'm not paying a couple hundred dollars for another one of these wheels. More urgent thing is going to be getting the studs so we can fix that issue because I need to put a wheel on here to get it back out of the garage because 
I have to get that Jeep in here so that way we can weld in the new floor um, pan over there on the driver's side since it's rusted. So I'm going to go online and see if we can get some of these. Good thing is, in the meantime, I do have a lot of work I have to do to this. Uh, fix up the headlights, put a winch in, some interior bits and pieces that I haven't got a chance to do. So if we do have to order these, it's not a huge deal. There's other stuff I have to do to this Jeep first. But on the bright side, it could be a lot worse. It could be bigger things that are broken. And this really isn't that bad of a break. I mean, it's probably pretty cheap to replace besides the wheel, which we're going to get rid of these anyway. Um, I decided definitely I'm not going to pay a couple hundred dollars for a new wheel when it's not even a beadlock. So if we did buy wheels, it would have to be beadlocks. But with that being said, that Grand Cherokee will be getting beadlocks once we get the one tons ready. So once that's on beadlocks, we'll take those wheels and probably those tires and put it on this WJ. So that means we'll have to get another lift for this one. Honestly, probably go with the same exact lift because I am super, super pleased with that one and I like how it performs off-road. So it's kind of one of those things that sucks, but it forced us to upgrade the Jeep. The Jeep will be a lot cooler now. And I mean, at this point, I'm talking about long arms, long arms on the Jeep, 35s on the Jeep, new drive shafts and all that just because I don't feel like buying a wheel. But I think that'd be a whole lot more fun and the Jeep would be a lot more capable like that. Or would you rather see this? So I've been seeing a lot of people do these. Oh, let's just click this one. And it's basically a weld on beadlock ring. And I've seen a lot of people running them. I'm not really sure how well they work or anything like that. But it looks like we can get them in the right size and everything. So this is a possibility. Let me know if this is something you guys would want to see. I would definitely pay somebody else to weld this because I don't trust myself enough welding to basically weld something that's going to hold my tire on the wheel. But as much as this does suck, it does give us a chance to get this Jeep back ready to run, ready to go off-road. I want to do a ton of videos with this Jeep and the Blue Grand Cherokee. You'll see a ton of content like this versus that one off-road, comparing like the capabilities of a four-inch short arm lift kit to a six and a half inch long arm lift kit. I want to do like a tug of war between the two. Um just out of curiosity, I think it'd be a lot of fun. So I think this would be a cool candidate for that. Probably do one with this Grand Cherokee with my Wrangler, also with Austin's Wrangler, with the V8. See how all those play out against the Blue Grand Cherokee. But, you know, this sucks, but it could be a whole lot worse. I actually went around the Jeep, counted all the lug nuts. We got a maximum of three on each wheel. So I'm also gonna order up a set of lug nuts because I think that is long overdue. Also, it looks like we can get some of these studs. They're in stock in a few places. So I'm gonna go pick up a set tomorrow. It's a little late today. Pick up a set tomorrow. I'll probably tear this apart tonight and get those installed tomorrow. Probably also do the winch tomorrow so you guys can expect some more content on this Jeep coming soon. As always, though, thank you guys so much for watching the videos and I'll see you guys in the next one.